Hey guys, uh, back from the rod run. As you can see, here's 2%. I didn't sell it. Um, it was kind of setting in a hidden spot. Uh, you know, you couldn't really see it real well. There wasn't a lot of foot traffic around it. But, when, you know, when you go the rod run, if you've ever been, you'll understand it's hard to get a parking spot. You've got to get up there early. I got up there Wednesday. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and a lot of those guys that were parked around me, they've been up there for two weeks, you know, since the Shades. And I tell you, the Shades was the place to sell something. Uh, I've got a dealer friend, and that's what he told me. You know, he sold a whole bunch of them during the Shades. And, uh, you know, during the week of the rod run, he sold one on Sunday. And after Sunday, he didn't sell nothing. And he told me, you know, a couple of the dealers from out of state that, that bought from him, you know, told him, you know, we're going to get out of here. We don't want to be up here during the rod run. So a lot of them came up there. They bought during the shades and they got out of town. Uh, it gets crazy during the rod run. You know, the shades pretty well laid back. It was an awesome, awesome thing. I hope that people kind of carry it on as far as parking the cars along the strip. You know, I know the show's over with it. It's not going to happen anymore. Uh, you know, maybe maybe somebody else will pick it up. I hope so because it's a it's a lot more fun than the rod run to me. It's a lot more laid back. Now, if you like to party and you know raise hell and carry on with a bunch of craziness, the rod run's kind of the place to be. Now, it's changed a lot. Uh, you've got a lot of young kids. You've got a lot of crazy adults. You know, I, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to get down on anybody for drinking, but they leave their beer cans and trash and stuff laying all over the parking lots and. It just ruins it for everybody. Um, of course, they get mad at the police. They get out there raising hell, racing up and down the strip, burning their tires, acting a fool, drinking and stuff. Then they get mad at the cops for coming out and writing them tickets. Now, you know, I won't say that a lot of those tickets probably aren't a little silly on, on certain things, but, you know, for the most part, they're just doing their job. Uh, a lot of good people out there trying to enjoy it and a lot of silly people ruining it for them. So, anyway back to two percent had a lot of interest in the truck had one guy call me uh <laughs> you know this truck it needs to it needs both cab corners it needs a rocker on the driver's side and it's got this little place right here in the bed just a little place it's it's nothing significant that would be an easy fix i just haven't had time to have it fixed so uh <laughs> anyway he called me and uh, we were talking and he said, man, this truck needs two fenders. It needs two doors. It needs rockers. It needs cab corners. It needs a bed. You know, take that crap somewhere else. I don't, you know, don't state the obvious to me. I'm not stupid. I fooled these trucks a long time. Of course, he probably don't know that. He may think I'm just some silly kid that's brought this truck up there. If he thinks this truck needs a bed, he don't need to be fooling with old cars and trucks. This bed is awesome. This is a great bed. Uh, even the bed floor is not dented up. It's not rusted out. This bedside's perfect. Tailgate's perfect. Bed floor's perfect. Um, it's not even beat up on the front. You know, most of the time, even Clifford's kind of bowed just a little bit on the front. This one's not even that way. It's got those two little bitty spots, and he's carrying on like it needs a bed. You're going to run into really silly people up there, uh, but there's a lot of good people, too. A lot of good friends. You know, I got to see a lot of good people. Uh, had a good time. Had a real good time. Uh, Mr. P.I.B. and Mrs. P.I.B. came up. We had a ball. They rode around the bed of this truck, hollered and yelled at people. Uh, but like I said, just, you know, kind of showing y'all, I brought both the trucks back. I could have sold them both. I had a really, really strong offer on Clifford. I was just about $500 shy of where I wanted to be. But I liked that truck, and I did not care to bring it home. This one, I would have been happier to have sold it, uh, but I liked the truck as well. You know, the only reason I would have been happy to have sold this truck was because I trailered this truck, and I didn't really feel like bringing it home. But before I give it away, I don't care to put it back on the trailer, strap it down, and bring it home. Now, I about wrecked that truck and this truck. Uh, of course, this one was on a trailer. I about had a pretty bad wreck, and... Uh, Thank God I kind of negotiated my way out of that. But anyway, uh, it's back. Clifford's back. You can see I went ahead and finished up buying the weather stripping, uh, window felts, all that stuff. So uh, that will completely uh, finish up all the weather stripping. I also bought two wheel spacers for the back. 
I got two speakers. Uh, I'm going to build a box for them behind the seat. When I order carpet, I may order it for a, a crew cab, like a three plus three truck. I don't know if I want to do that because it's it's molded different. Um, so I don't know. I'm just sort of thinking I would like to have the same color of carpet, the same material to cover the speaker box to make it look right. I may call uh, A1 or something and, and see if they can sell me just a piece of the material. I'm sure they will. I, I don't know. I'm sure that might be a kind of an odd request, but I'll see if they can do that and then I'll cover that speaker box. And I'm going to order the kick panels, uh, the kick panel speakers and the classic sound radio. I was going to go ahead and get the radio and the carpet at the Leconte Center uh, from Dave's. That's who I've been ordering a lot of my parts from. Uh, but I was on a scooter and the scooter was almost dead. So uh, all I got was the rubbers and the uh, uh, wheel spacers. Now I bought some tire shine and another thing or two. I don't even remember what. But uh, anyway, um, that's neither here nor there. So that's the next thing on the agenda for Clifford is just finish up the weather stripping, put the wheel spacers on it, get the radio and stuff hooked up, get the carpet in it. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to decide what I want to do with, on the interior. I may put a dash cap on it. Maybe I'll have the dash and stuff covered. I don't know yet, but anyway, I want to get the carpet in, want to get the radio done and uh, all the weather stripping and stuff finished up. And uh, as far as 2% goes, like I said, I've got, I've got the flip kit. I just got to get the spindles and the springs. I don't know really if I want to lower the truck. I like the look of it. I do want to wash it and put another coat of penetrol on it. This looks fine. But when I was riding on the window, stupid me was uh, shaking the paint marker and I slung paint all over the hood. I didn't even realize it till just a while ago. So I had to take and wipe some of it off and you can see where I took the penetrol back off. So I'm going to wash the truck, put one more coat on. It's not a big deal, uh, easy to do. And a couple of other little odds and ends, uh, nothing major, just little things. I've been driving this truck and you know, I really like it. The more I drive it, the more I like it. I haven't had time to enjoy this truck, guys. I pulled this thing out of a freaking field and, you know, done a lot of work to it. Uh, sorry about that. I had some kids flying by on bicycles hollering at each other. It kind of startled me. I didn't, didn't know what that was. But anyway, I just haven't had time to enjoy it. Uh, again, I pulled it out of, out of the field and I've had to touch everything on it. So... I was down to the wire, getting it ready for the rod run. And uh, now this truck's uh, fully insured. It's got full coverage. It's registered in my name. I can start driving it now and uh, enjoying it. So, you know, again, anything I got is pretty much for sale. There's just a couple, two or three of them here that's not. But, uh, you know, if they don't bring what I need to have out of them, I keep them. Because just like this truck, uh, of course, I had them priced a little higher but you've got to do that at Rod Run. People beat you to death. I mean, even even where you price them at, they'll cut you in half. I mean, it's just, it's aggravating. You know, it's hard to put what you've got to have out of something on the window. Um, because, you know, again, that's that's a starting point for people. I mean, it, I, I don't care but I don't care what you put. I could put $30,000 on this truck and they're going to offer you five. I mean, that's just, that's just how they are. A lot of wheeling, a lot of dealing. Not getting down on a lot of those guys. Um, but it, it does become a little bit aggravating at times. But uh, anyway, again, I had a lot of fun. I got to meet a few people. Uh, those of you that I got to meet, it was great meeting y'all. Uh, it's pretty humbling that someone would actually want to meet me. Um, so, you know, that was kind of neat. Uh, <laughs> Mr. PIB kind of flew under the radar and, uh, pro you know, he was just up there for a few hours. He wasn't there long. I had a couple guys that, you know, talked to me and wanted to meet him, but he only come up for the one day and, and he got back home. He doesn't care nothing about the rod run anymore. Um, you know, maybe, maybe this spring, maybe this spring I can get him to go up there and stay. I know he's watching this video. Talk to Mrs. PIB. I think Mrs. PIB likes it. I think uh, Mr. PIB is the, uh, the one that's kind of over it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, just want to let y'all know I did bring the trucks back. I wanted to kind of give y'all an idea of where I'm going next. Uh, 
I've kind of got my eyeballs on another truck uh, that I may go get. I ain't made my mind up yet. If it's still there, I was talking to the guy uh, the week before the rod run, and we couldn't get together. He had some things to do. I had some things to do, and we ran into the rod run. So I didn't get to go look at the truck. If it's still there, I'm probably going to go get it. Um, I'm going to probably message him tomorrow. I've had a lot of stuff going on today as well, so I'm going to holler at him tomorrow and see if he's still got it. Maybe I'll go get it. And uh, I know Mr. P.I.B., I know he's got his eyes on something. I don't know what, but uh, hopefully I can get some more content for you guys. I know it kind of gets boring seeing the same old stuff all the time. Uh, I'm going to order a camera, and uh, I think it's a GoPro Hero 9 or something. And uh, maybe I can set that up and show y'all what I'm doing when I'm working on stuff. Maybe give some of y'all some, you know, helpful tips or whatever. Maybe help y'all in some little, you know, insignificant way. But, uh, all right, guys, I'm going to get out here tomorrow. I've got to mow. I've got to get this garage cleaned up. I've had a mess uh, just trying to get ready for the rod run. But uh, get everything cleaned up. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll get on uh, Clifford and get that grill out that I bought and get the grill put in it. Maybe try to get do a video showing y'all how to do these rubbers. Very simple, those are real easy. The vent windows are a little aggravating, but again, it's not hard. Uh, just be patient now. The vent windows, you wanna be sure you have somewhere to, to put this truck where it's not gonna be raining or something to cover it up with. If for some reason, uh, you know, you find out you don't have a tool or you, you know, whatever, uh, make sure you have somewhere to put the truck in the dry because you do have to take that whole vent window out and take the frame apart. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I've done a video on it before, but it's an older video. I'll do another one and uh, kind of let y'all see what I do. You know, I'll take the frame all apart, sand it, paint it, uh, make it look good, put the seals in it, and put it back in the truck. All right, guys, I got to get in here. I've rambled on long enough. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm going to get in here and uh, get the baby ready for bed and uh, myself as well. We'll catch you on the next one.